Welcome back to the first live workout video after COVID. So I uh, haven't done these in about a month and a half. I was on a power, not power lifting, but more strength training program. And uh, I got sick and it kind of threw that out the window. So I'm gonna go back to what I was doing hypertrophy for about the rest of the year and then start back into the strength and see if I can hit some more PRs on the deadlift bench and squat. It's starting the beginning of 2022. So doing a push day, gonna get right in the first set, doing 95 pounds on the incline for a warm up, 20 reps here. And then we'll talk some more in between sets. We're not trying to rush through the reps here, just going through them. This is just a warm up, get the muscles going nice and easy the whole time. So, I've been doing incline bench first. I used to start with flat and then I go to incline, but the, as you can see, like the top of my chest is kind of lagging. So, I figured, you know. By the time I get to incline, I'm already tired. So I was doing before, I think like, I think I got up to 195 for 12 reps. And then I go to incline bench and only be able to do like 150 pounds on my top set. So now, oops, get this started. Keep track of the time. So now I start with incline and I'll do like 175. I'm gonna see if I can get 12 today. 11 or 12, something like that. So now I'm doing 25 pounds more because I'm doing the incline first when I'm still fresh. Whereas, you know, if I was, uh, and then when I go to the flat bench, I'm only like 10 pounds-ish um, weaker, 10, 15 pounds. So kind of what I'm doing now is I'm gonna hit 175 on this and then when I go, so the flat bench, do the same weight for my top set there. And uh, it's kind of nice because you're hitting the same numbers and it's not like I'm doing one, you know, almost 200 than 150. But um, I have in the description all the lifts I'm planning on doing today, the whole workout program I'm doing four push, do two warm up sets. So the first one was about half, close to half the weight, 95 pounds, be going up to 75. But it's just easy to throw the 25s on there instead of going like, you know, 85 pounds or something like that. And then um, doing two top sets, one with 175, then I drop it about 10% and try to hit the same number or more. That's working, cool. So if you're on here, let me know if you're uh, following along what you're doing, if you worked out today, any of that good stuff. It's always fun to have conversations during these especially now that I'm back to feeling normal again. So I've got 135 here now for 15 reps.
feeling the pump there. But, uh, yeah, so it took me, you know, I had a cove and I was out for like three weeks in August, started working out again. So it's taken me a good three, almost four weeks just to get back to my previous lifting numbers. Like I just hit a new PR yesterday, squatting for 12 reps. And now, you know, hopefully today I'll be back on track where I was with bench. My, my back and my leg workouts came back pretty quickly, but my, uh, my chest did not. It took a lot more. Hey, it's going good so far. I just started, did first couple warm-up sets. Now about to hit my top set, 175 on incline. Then a back off set, about 10% less. Both of these to failure. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna move to flat. I'm gonna get my spotter real quick. Chill. Can you let her know I'm ready? So I got a, I have duct tape over the handle part. We're just deadlocking the bolt right now until I go get a new, it's the plunger part that goes in the door. It just, I don't know if stuff got stuck in or what, but it just completely locked up and got stuck. But um, yeah, I, the last few days I've been uh, eating oatmeal for breakfast. Like I had, I'll have two servings of oatmeal and put a scoop of protein powder in it. I've never really done that before. The first day, I put peanut butter protein powder, and it was pretty good. Then yesterday, I did this chocolate cookie blast from Rise, and that was nothing special. But today, I did the vanilla peanut butter, and that was actually pretty good. Like, pretty filling, good amount of protein. So, and the last couple of days, I hit a new PR in uh, swimming, and then also on my squats yesterday. So. We're going to see if the same thing happens today with the bench. If I can hit new numbers with the oatmeal. There's my pregnant wife. She's two weeks away. Ready to have this fourth girl. Fifth kid, fourth girl. Let's hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Like my shoulder
maybe it was the fact that I, uh, didn't get a lot of sleep last night either. I was up late editing a video for my other channel that I think turned out quite well. Camera motion, if you're interested in camera gear and um, filmmaking, that type of stuff. So the idea here is like, no, I used to do the whole five sets of five type of deal, throwing on 200 something pounds. But the thing is, if you can get five sets of five, then the first four sets, you probably weren't pushing yourself that hard. And the whole way to make your muscles grow is by pushing yourself, progressive overload. And you can progressive overload five sets of five, but you're not gonna be the intensity you need if you're doing the same weight for that many reps. I could see if you did like, you know, 225 for five, and then you dropped it down to like 215 for five, and 205 for five, and you're going all out to failure each time, then yeah. But if you can hit like 205 or 225, whatever number you pick for five reps, five sets in a row, and you fail on the last set, well then, the first four sets you weren't really pushing that hard. So here, shooting for 10 to 12 reps, I got 10. So obviously, you know, I'm not gonna be able to hit that number again because that was to failure, or I guess 10 and a quarter, a third, something like that. So now, I'm dropping the weight 10%, trying to hit the same number, maybe more. So we'll see. But this is 160. So, you know, 10%, that would be 17 and a half pounds, but 15 is good enough. I'm just glad to be able to work out again. Because when I was sitting in bed for two weeks, that was pretty rough. So, like I said, got it again. 10 set, or 10 sets. 10 reps again, pretty much the failure there. So if I put that weight on, I probably won't be able to get that once again. If, uh, if I did another set, so I need to drop the weight again. But two hard sets, that's been working for me, growing muscle. Is. I'm going to do another two hard sets on the flat bench, then a few more with flies. So, doing that twice a week, that's what? Two, four, five, six, seven, 14 hard sets, 15 to 14, 14, 15. So, you know, between, say, 10 and 20 sets per muscle group per week should be sufficient. And I'm also here doing shoulder press, you're working your chest up there. Even though it's mostly shoulders, but there is a little bit of activation there on the upper chest. I'm trying to keep my workouts close to an hour because I've been taking my time getting up around an hour 15, an hour 20 minutes. And I've been combining some different exercises to try to make it go faster. I got my leg workouts down to about an hour and just a couple minutes by doing that. I'm still getting the intensity, so if you need a rest, obviously rest enough so that you're recovered enough for your next set. But if you're just resting like 30 seconds to a minute between sets, then you're probably not sufficiently rested. And you want to have like up to a six to one work rest ratio. So, you know, if your set took you a minute, that'd be up to six minutes of rest or, you know, 30 seconds, then up to three minutes. So 
obviously you don't want to waste time, but make sure you're rested enough so that you get the most out of each of your sets. So here, it's not really a warm-up set here, but it's we're doing the same relative movement, but it is a different angle. So starting off with a lighter weight, 15 reps again, just to get into the feel of that. Don't want to just load a bunch of weight on. I'm not used to the that form since we've been doing the incline. So 135 I got here for 15 reps. Hit it when a bug flies right by my mouth when I'm taking deep breaths. Last thing I need is to choke on a massive bug. So once again, up to 175. Same as before. Again, if you're just joining in, let me know where you're watching from, what you're doing today, what your fitness goals are, all that kind of stuff. I'm update my board here with the numbers for today. All right, I'm feeling on my chest. I'll grab my spotter again. my chest. I was kind of thinking the other day while I was swimming wondering like how much it affects my lifting just like if you run a bunch or ride a bike a bunch you're probably not gonna have as good a maybe you can just pull it it doesn't have to you don't have to lock it but you know it's gonna affect your leg muscle growing potential and there is a lot of pulling and all that stuff using your upper body so I only do it you know, every four days, so it's not excessive. No, it's just got a mosquito bite. Look at these bucks. It's pretty annoying. You ready? Oh, a big bug. I think it was a love bug. It almost flew in my mouth when I was doing my last set. Wow, I'm going to have to turn my fan off just to keep them away. There's going to be loud noise, but it's necessary. I got a big fan a while back because it's so hot all the time. Let's see.
sin. We got nine. brightness up here. How's that? Almost. Sorry, technical difficulties. How's that? It's better. Good enough. I can deal with the heat and all that. Once bugs start biting me, they're flying in my face or in my mouth while I'm trying to exercise. That's pretty annoying. Man, this bug bite is right on my ankle, just right where my sock is, so it's just constantly itching. So we're gonna hit this last set here to failure, 160 once again, and then, uh, what am I thinking? I don't know. Mm. Shoulder press, and then we're gonna get on a couple supersets. looking a little green. Here, first set, 15 reps. 
I'm going to go up to 95 after that. <clears throat> All right. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Tilt this up. Zoom in some. There we go. Tell you what, keeping track of your lifts is one of the best ways to stay motivated. Aside from just tracking it so that you know, hey, am I progressing? How much did I do last time? Because I don't even remember what I did half the time on yesterday's lifts. So you keep track of it. Then you get to six months, a year later, and you look back at what you were doing. And uh, it's pretty motivating. It's like I just did 65 pounds for reps, 15 reps for the warm up, and I remember 70 pounds was my top set like eight or nine months ago. Yeah, and I remember being stuck on that for a while, and now that's like a warm up set. Hi. So. That's one way to stay motivated, is by keeping track of your lifts. <clears throat> Give about another 30 seconds. 95 pounds. <clears throat> like I was saying before with rep ranges, like, you know, I was shooting for 10 to 12 reps on the bench earlier. You know, once I hit 12 reps, then I'll move up five pounds on the next workout. But until I do that, I'm shooting for, you know, that time I got 10, so next time 11 or 12. With this, rep range is 12 to 15, then 11 to 15, then 10 to 15. So I'm gonna do the same weight for three sets here. But like, if you hit 15, chances are you're not gonna hit 15 again. If you get 15 all three times, then you definitely need to move up the weight. But the idea is like, I wanna get at least 12, then 11, then 10 then move up, but once I do hit 15 on the first set and then get at least 11 and 10 on the next two, then I move up the weight. So, we'll see if I can get at least 12 here. That's the goal. <clears throat> More is definitely fine, but shooting for 12. But, whew, barely got it there. That's a good feeling when you get more than you shoot for, so. That's good there, so. You know, bench wasn't 
much different from my last session, but shoulders were, so progressive overloading, you know, got something. So, that's cool. I'm gonna rest about a minute and a half here. Go at it again for two more sets. Then I'm gonna move on to uh, flies and bent laterals. Back and forth for three sets, or three rounds, I guess. And then finish up with lateral raises and tricep press downs. And I'll be back and forth. Super set for three rounds. And those go pretty quickly. So as long as I get done by like, you know, these first three rounds of things, incline, flat, and then shoulder press by like 40 minutes, I know I'll be done most likely by an hour. So, yeah, I'll just leave the camera there. I was thinking about moving it over, but you know, it's no big deal. Eventually I'll get another camera and have some multiple angles you can switch from, but it's not a huge deal. So this time shooting for 11 as a minimum. Or nine. <laughs> Guess that first set took a lot out of me. That's all good. Give a little extra rest before this last set here. Whew. But it's crazy how much strength you lose. Not just from like, you know, if you don't work out for couple weeks and then you come back into it you're gonna feel weaker like if you just even hit the numbers that you did on your last lift then that's good but uh, when you're in bed you're not exercising for I think it was about three weeks before I just started doing some push-ups and just squats air squats one-legged squat that type of thing and you're hardly eating anything so you're losing weight you're not exercising and you're sick, you get super weak. Like I remember my dad was over here when I was doing my strength training. I wanted to see how many reps I could do with 135 on overhead press and I got, I think it was five reps. Cause one of my goals is to be able to do 135 for 10. And you know, now it's just did 95 for almost 10 on the second round. So just imagine that's like 40 pounds away from that goal, but it comes back quickly. I was pretty weak in the first few workouts. But that's the thing about fitness, even when you have a setback like that. Like, I want to get stronger, I want to gain muscle, all that good stuff. That's my, but my overall goal is just to be healthy and fit. And like, I think I could say I'm pretty healthy, pretty much in shape still. Still have a good amount of muscle. Just because I got weaker, it's not the end of the world, so. Just uh, keep that in mind when you have setbacks, like, yeah, it stinks when you're hitting numbers and then now you can't, but overall, are you healthy? And if you are, then the goal has been achieved. And that's another reason I don't want to use any kind of PEDs because I don't want to get super strong and watch all those gains go away when I'm not sick. So, you know, do what you want, just be safe. Don't break the law. Last set of these.
So I think I probably could have gotten 10 on the set before that one if I had given myself a little more rest. And that's where, you know, like I was saying, make sure you have adequate rest between sets so that you can actually give it your all. But now, you know, I have something to shoot for for next time. It's not a big deal. stuff in view. Get ready for the next couple rounds. I'll tell you what, I've heard Greg just said say a lot like, you know, exercise is a reward, being able to get out and move. And obviously I already like exercise and I've been doing this a long time. But then when I was sick and I was stuck in bed, couldn't do anything then that's when you really realize how much of a reward being able to exercise is. Because man, I mean, I've already, I've been stuck in hotel rooms for days at a time with my job, not being able to leave a hotel room. And it's pretty terrible. But then, uh, I can at least still do push-ups and all that kind of stuff. But with this, I was out, so. Be thankful for what you can do. Don't take it for granted. So we're gonna start with the flies right here. Get about there, zoom a little bit again. And I decreased the incline some down to 20 degrees on this. I was initially doing it at 35, but I uh, felt like I was just getting a lot more shoulder and I wanted to just get, you know, a little bit of emphasis on the upper chest. And I changed the angle a bit and I noticed a big difference after my last workout. And the thing with these is you don't want to go too fast because you don't want to tear anything. But I try to go down, pause, then bring it back up. Go down slowly, pause, bring it back up. So bring it down, pause, back up. The thing you gotta remember with those two is just that time and attention, you know, not speeding through them because you don't want to injure something. Ideally, something like cable flies would be better because then you have constant tension throughout the whole movement. But when you don't have that option, you gotta do what works for you. And that definitely still works. <coughs> With these, I like to put my chest on something. If you have a pec deck that you can do like reverse, that's nice too. But I like doing this so that I can't swing the weight up.
And if you can, move forward with those. Try to pause at the top and don't just drop the weight, but let it back down slowly. Start to sweat all over this door shut. But I'll take the sweat over the bugs. In my last workout, I got 40s for 15 reps. So I'm going to try the 45s on this first set. If I can't get at least 12, I'll move down to 40s on the next set. Time in between sets as well. I can strip this so they'll be ready for the next super set. Speeding through them when they get tough, just so you get the reps in. But just remember that rep range is <clears throat> it's just a, a a goal, something to shoot for. Because <clears throat> excuse me, if you uh, it's just to gauge like okay, I got this amount of reps this time. Now I need to move up weight or whatever for progressive overload, but. In all reality, the weights don't really matter. What matters is that you're working the muscle optimally and able to progressive overload it. So that's what we're shooting for here. That's why I'm not just gonna try to get the number. I'm gonna do the same form as before. And if I do get it, then cool, but if not, then I'm gonna change the weight so that I can keep good form and work towards that time under tension based on the amount of reps I'm doing. Tell you what, if you have a bench that you can adjust the angle to a slider, a lower incline, because most go up to like 35, 45, something like that, it's just way too much. If you can switch it to that around 20, I mean, I felt that in my upper chest and a little bit down throughout the rest. So that's definitely a good angle. So if these don't swing them up, control the weight the entire time on the way up and on the way down. So up, pause, let it down.
And that was 25 pounds, by the way. And by pausing, honestly, it seems longer in my head, but that could just mean like come up and then let it down slow, not just up and then drop. Up and then try to control it and resist all the way down. Yeah? Uh, can I call and see if the chiropractor is anything that is happening? If they do, it's if they have. I'm fine. I'm going to be sweaty and gross. All right. So we have one more set here. This time it's going to be same weight, but 10 to 15 reps. So like before, you know, if you're only able to hit 12, chances are you won't hit the same number again if you went a lot and your muscles are fatigued. And keep in mind that sweat is not an indicator of a hard workout. I've heard people saying like, oh man, I sweat so much today, I got a great workout, but sweat is just a factor of temperature, not of intensity. Because I can work just as hard or maybe even harder in the winter and not sweat at all because I'm out here working out in 30 degrees. So keep that in mind. Shooting for 10. Your strength comes back too because when I first started back, oh gosh, a few weeks back, three or four weeks ago, like three weeks ago, my, uh, I was doing my first set of flies, my top set. I think I tried to do 40, either 40s or 45. I couldn't even do like six reps or something like that. I was so weak. Now to go down to 35s, so I was able to get like 10. And now I'm back to 35s, my first set of 15, so. Don't be discouraged. Once again, if you get a setback, because your strength will come back pretty fast. Just don't let your setback be an excuse to quit being active or exercising how you can and start eating junk and get fat. Because then it will be a lot harder to get in shape. kind of back how we were earlier. I think it's about right. See how it looks when I sit down. 
Turn my screen around first. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now, got about 10 minutes left. And I'm gonna do the lateral raises and the tricep press down. Same before, first set, it's not really a warm up set. We're doing 15 with the weight, you could keep going. You know, another three, four, five reps, something like that. And then move on to two hard sets to failure. I knew I was forgetting something. In between the last set, we're setting this up. up a little bit here. Here we go. Let's get it into it. 15 pounds. Same with the lateral raises. Trying to pause at the top and control the weight down. Got some mirrors I can look at now to make sure my arms are even. So lean forward just slightly. for the next round. Let's zoom in a bit here. Fifteen reps, fifty-five pounds. Remember you want to try to keep your elbows locked in place with these. Not be swinging the weight around like doing stuff like that. Tricep exercise, not a full upper body exercise. So I'm going to try the 20s on the first set. 
Actually, I'm going to go 25 as the first set, and then move to the 20s if I don't get at least 12. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to tilt this up, get a little bit more of a close up on the shoulders on this set. Here we go. Wait, wrong weights. <laughs> Those are the 20s. Can't even pay attention. Here we go. good form and this last rep or two definitely the form was not too good so just be aware do it as best you can So we're gonna do 20s and then that 80 pounds one more time. We'll probably do a drop set on the uh, the tricep. soon so we'll find out all right here we go last set
Nice. I think what I'm gonna do there is from now on do the same thing I just did with 25 pounds on the first set, and then I'll do 20 on the next one, but you know, do 25 until I get to 15, then I'll switch to 25 on the last set too. It's amazing how much of a difference of five pounds makes, but I guess you know you go from 20 to 25, that's a 25% increase, so it's a big difference. Here we go. Last round. First set. So that was it, folks. That was push day back post COVID. Getting stronger, getting back in shape, trying to regain the old gains and then continue progressing. But now that I'm past it, I'm just gonna try to keep getting stronger. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, lots of good stuff to come. And I'll see you soon.